episode of Sons of Cinema. Throughout my entire life, I've been watching movies and they've had a great influence on me. And I believe... On me as well. <laughs> there you go. My name is Marty Jalove and this is my son... Luke Jalove. Hi. <laughs> so today what we're going to do is we're going to do a comparison, uh, a review of two movies, King Kong movies. Those are classics. I've always loved King Kong. All right, so the two movies we're going to look at today <laughs> here. Stop. <laughs> right. Leave my hair alone. All right, all right, good, good, we're good, good. All right. All right. <clears throat> so today we're going to be reviewing two movies, both of them great King Kong movies. The original King Kong from 1939. 33. <laughs> From the 1930s, 33. from a, the 30s, a long time, yeah. the original King Kong, and the new one, or the newish one, which mm. is Kong Skull Island. Okay, so uh, right out of, the, out of the boat, which one do you like better? Um, well, uh, I... Wrong. The first King Kong was the best movie, without a doubt. 33 or 39... You know, it was ahead of its time. It was a classic movie that still stands the test of time. Go. Well, uh, I, I feel a little pushed to go on Kong Skull Island's side, but that was the side I was leaning on anyway. Uh, I feel Kong Skull Island, I, I must acknowledge it has some advantage in uh, so many adventure movies coming out since King Kong. King sure, Kong without a doubt. is very much influential to the genre of both adventure and monster movie, but Kong Skull Island... Uh, I, th I think because I don't think it's revolutionary on its own, but I think it is a better watch in the moment. I think it's better at establishing a greater cast of characters. I think it's better at establishing Kong as both a character and a okay. threat and a part of nature. And I think it's overall a better paced time with better threats at each point in the narrative. Do you think it was long, though? It seemed like a long movie at some points. <sighs> This thing's just under two minutes. I think it's something like 158 or 159. I didn't feel it was particularly long. Uh, Wait, the movie was two minutes? It seemed much longer. You said it was just under two minutes. Does it two minutes? <laughs> yeah, you went two hours? <laughs> two hours, yeah. Right. Um, movie just under two minutes. Oh, okay. Um, uh, no, but I thought, I didn't think there was any particular scene that dragged. Uh, okay. I didn't see maybe it just getting cut down a little bit, but. I I thought it actually was paced pretty well. I thought it went by perfectly fine, especially because there are so many movies nowadays. I mean, we watched God, yes. Godzilla vs. Kong sure, also sure. recently. Which I wouldn't put in this ranking. That's why we're not talking about that one. No, but just as an example, yes. I feel like that's a movie that's so long True. for such True. a simple premise. Whereas this one, I think I think it goes by fast. I think you get... Can I tell you something Sorry. I didn't like about the new Kong? Sure. Kong Skull Island? That the uh, relationship between Kong and the girl just wasn't there. I think that's classic Kong. Kong falls in love. It's, you know, the, the idea of it was Beauty and the Beast, and that was not in this movie. I I can get behind that. I think at this point, I think it's obvious that that wasn't the direction the creator was going for. Right. I think Kong's role is much more uh, protector. Yes, he's than pretty, he was definitely the protecting the island, taking care of the mm -hmm. people who live there, the natives to the land. Right. I think this more sympathetic Kong uh, doesn't just stem from Skull Island. I think this is the fourth remake of the general King Kong story, okay. to my knowledge. Uh, there was the 70s one with Jeff Bridges, right. where it was uh, almost leaning more into the romantic element yes, of it. Yes, completely. Right. Uh, you have the 2000s one, directed by Peter Jackson, uh, with Jack Black. That's, one, that's the one I that's thought the one we were going to really watch. Liked. That's the one I thought we were going to watch. <laughs> that, okay. You want a long movie, that's a long movie. All right, but it's well made. It is okay. pretty well made. Uh, that one, much more yes. of a sympathetic yes. Kong. And this one... Um, I think in that movie, they borrowed the dinosaurs from Jurassic Park. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> I think so. But anyway, I digress. Yeah. Please, finish yeah, your They borrowed thoughts. the concept of dinosaurs, too, from Jurassic yeah. Park. No, no. Dinosaurs have been around for a long, long time. Really? Jurassic really? Park didn't invite, invent that. What, since... Uh, Thousands since, of like, years. what, the original Thousands. King Kong? Yeah. No, no, no. I'm talking uh, millions of years. But anyway, no, um, go ahead. Uh, I, I think it kind of works for Kong Skull Island to take away from the uh, Beauty and Beast approach, just because I thought this was much more a story about nature and about uh, man's stepping in, which was okay. not at all what the original right. King Kong was about. In fact, if anything, the original King Kong was probably pro-investigating you know, nature, 
they yes, were, yes. They, they killed many a thing. I in guess, that original I, I, I think there's a pro and con to that. First off, I do like the idea that they uh, are t- putting a different twist on it. Mm-hmm. There is not the whole, let's capture Kong and bring him back to New York City. Right. Okay, this is, uh, it was a surprise to me, so sorry for that spoiler. Um, it was a surprise to me because that's what I was expecting. Mm-hmm. And as I'm watching, I'm going, well, how are they going to get the, uh, how, how are they going to get him off the island? What are they going to do? And so that was different. And so you're right. So no love interest between Kong and the girl uh, made it completely different. But all in all, still a very, very good movie. Just yeah. different than I expected. No, yeah. Um, one element I really like about it is, and again, I don't think this is revolutionary. I just think it's really appreciated okay. compared to, uh, you know, an older and just more basic movie like the original King Kong. Yes. You just get all these, like, characters who you have some feeling about, you know, like, each of the soldiers, almost all of them, right. there's, like, as I pointed out, yeah. there's one near the end where I'm like, how did he survive? Exactly. We know you nothing expect, about this guy. You always expect that one guy going, ah, he's going to die. When is he yeah. going to die? Yes. But you get to know the, uh, Shea Wiggum as Cole. He's the guy okay. who says the stuff about the lion and the mouse. Okay. He yes. Says, yeah, the lion kills the the mouse kills the lion with the thorn. Yes. Like you get to know him. He's kind of kooky. Right. You know the other soldier who's yes. hanging around him as the straight man compared right. to him. You also know the soldier who's hanging around the re- the other party, the younger guy with the red bandana. Right. You get to know all these people who aren't even the main characters. We have like yeah, but, four but, or five. But main you're characters. making it sound like you don't get to know the characters in the first Kong movie. I think you you get to know them. They all have their own unique personalities as well. Quickly established. You know, not as in-depth, but you still get to know them. Right, but I think the characters present are just a little more shallow. I'd say the only really good character in the first King Kong is Denham, Carl Denham, the filmmaker. I okay. think you really get attached to, like, this that he's sort of... He's very much the John Goodman. Sure. Uh, and I would say he's a better character than John Goodman in Kong's Oh, Oh, okay. Wow. Uh, yeah, I think he's, you just... So, John Goodman, if you're watching, he doesn't mean it. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you, John. Please, <laughs> answer my calls. Um, uh, no, but I feel like you get the idea that Carl Denham, uh, he, he is putting so much risk into this because he really cares about the art. Right, Obviously, right. he's like a, a, this documentarian, sort of like the old sure, style sure. of filmmaker, like Nanook of the North, like okay. action documentary. Where, okay, yes, yes, yeah. yeah. So he was really into it. So that the the old movie, the nineteen thirty nine. Thirty thirty three. You movie. keep saying thirty nine. I don't know why. I, I just wanted to make it more of a modern movie. Mm-hmm. But nineteen thirty three, that movie, uh, what did you like about that the most? Uh well, I really I really like the Kong stuff. I like it's sort of you have to really uh, give it credence, but I yes. think I think you can. Uh, I like you I hit. like that he's sort of like just this big <laughs> this big guy. Well, it's that like whole go ahead do the, do, the, do the face that you do so much, right? Right, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Where where Wallace <laughs> or, or uh, Wallace and Gromit, yeah. yeah, King Kong turns into a Wallace and Gromit character. It's yeah, which at that time was probably terrifying to the people who watched it uh, yeah. back in the thirties. Okay, they were probably petrified uh. of it because they've never seen anything like that. But by today's standards, you watch a movie that was probably made then as a uh, horror movie, a scary movie, and today it's co- it's a tongue-in-cheek it's comedy. comedy. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a tremendous movie. That's what makes that one so powerful because if you take a look at Kong Skull Island, I can't picture that in 50 years, 60 years, 70 years, suddenly mm-hmm. people watching it going, ha, 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 isn't that funny? But the original Kong had a great message, and it turned from a scary movie into a comedy movie. So it'll always be kind of a cheeky comedy. I, I, I and you say, <laughs> and I say, <laughs> I think uh, I think there's definitely something to be said about influence and how it's yes. it will re- it will maintain better than Kong Skull Island. I think that's probably accurate. Um, but I I just think there isn't much beyond like the general story that it's there is this okay big monster there i will say uh yeah the adventure is probably the greatest element of the film the, the, this of the, feeling, the first one the first one yes, yes. yes this feeling of like you really feel like they're just they are going somewhere that it's right. like this this quest almost yeah yeah um whereas the second movie the one we just watched they're just trying to get off the island yeah that's their their goal is to get off the island the first one they're they're saying not only do we have to go out and find this beast, we have to capture him. Mm-hmm. we got to come up with a way to bring him back to New York City. Yeah. Okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, so that, to me, 
just adds more depth to it. Not that, but but I really enjoyed this movie. Oh, you yeah. know, Kong Skull Island. Um, I didn't see any giant like skull in the mountain. That's what I was expecting. I expected the the island to look like a skull. That's why there's a skull here. You know, <laughs> so, Scully. Well, Scully. <laughs> Hello, it's Scully. So um, um, yeah, so I I expected that, but you know, that's me wanting something silly. I wanted to say there might be some reason why it's called Skull Island. I, I think it's because they, they run into those skeletons and they had the skulls of Kong's ancestors mm. laying in the sand. I thought maybe the map was supposed to look like a skull. I didn't look at the map that, that much. Yeah, that I around, did. It's a bad, maybe it's a skull broken into pieces. That mm. It's a skull made to it's look like an island. stepped on. Yeah, yes, <laughs> it's a skull made look to look like an island, not an island <laughs> made to look like a skull. That's yeah, it. that's yeah, why. There yeah. you go, there you go. Um, okay, so if you're going to compare the two, Compare the two to each other, um, and let's say you had to look at the audience and say, you can only watch one King Kong movie for the rest of your life. Mm. All of them out of the picture, out of these two, which one would you pick? Uh, Mighty Joe Young from the 90s is probably <laughs> my pick for the best Kong but, movie. But that's he's not Kong. He's Mighty Joe Young. Oh, I think it's just Kong wearing a clever disguise. You think he's dressed more like a monkey? Yeah. Okay. Um, um, no. So, uh <sighs> This is this is a tough one because King Kong is does very much have that influence yes. factor. Yes. Whereas I I in the moment would watch Skull Island more, especially now I I've, I've seen this a yes. couple times before, and I do think it is it is an entertaining watch. It is without a doubt. There's there's enough little comic element elements in it. There's uh there's adventure. There's not it's not heavily uh, burdened with this fake romance. Mm -hmm. There's none of that that's going on. It's just got a uh, a great sense and a feel of a specific time frame mm -hmm. uh in america and so um i do like it the whole thing but if i could choose only one kong movie out of these two it would be the original king kong i think if if it was about preservation yes. and i have to preserve one movie i think i would have to go with the original king kong even though as i've said multiple times i do in the moment prefer skull island okay all right fair enough fair enough All right, so I'm going to ask you a question. All right, All right ask me so a question. The bad guy in uh, Kong Skull, Skull Island, Island is Samuel uh, L. Jackson. Colonel Preston Packard, played okay. by Samuel L. Jackson. Yes, that's yes. correct. Now, 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 Samuel L. Jackson, you he can't yell, Avengers Assemble. Okay? He can't. He cannot do that. So if you, I want you to think about this. I know you were going to ask me the question. How would you, if you were Samuel L. Jackson, how would you defeat Kong? All right, so this is what I'm thinking. Go for it. You figure somewhere on Skull Island, yes, there must be a gigantic banana. You would th that's tr well. I mean, why not? Because if the animals are so big, they must have big food. Yes. Now, this might sound this might immediately sound like a simple plan. This is actually a two pronged plan. Okay, I'm We're going to unpeel the banana. Yes, we're going to unpeel it and peel it. They mean the same thing. Did you know? That's you true. peel a banana or you unpeel a banana. So That's true. I never thought of there that. There you go. You learn right. something new every day, go. like flammable and inflammable. Those there. also mean the same thing. Really? Yeah. Okay, there you go. Um, I would place <laughs> yes. the peeled banana yes. atop a large mountain. Uh-huh. And yes. then, uh, before Kong gets there, yes, yes. I would place the gigantic peel, peel. ahead of the mountain. Genius. So Genius. He goes toward the banana, slips on the peel, no more Kong. Falls off the mountain. Immediate, yeah. Nice. See, now with that type of comic addition to the movie, mm. that might have taken the rank. That might have right. ranked up there as the number one Kong movie. Exactly. But I don't see that happening. Okay. Um, so I the reason I threw it at you is because I, I was thinking about it. If I can't use the Avengers to fight Kong, uh, I'm going to lean towards conventional weapons. All those ships always have some kind of weaponry tear gas or something that or knockout gas because in every kong movie the ship always has that so i would i would convince samuel L. jackson to not kill kong but to bring him back to new york city see now here's the thing i'm pretty sure they could not radio that ship i think the whole point was they had to wait for the refueling okay to get off the well, island we'll wait see if there's a sequel to it yeah. Okay, to sequel I think to they're... Skull. No, a sequel to Skull Island. I believe Godzilla vs. Kong is a sequel. Well, that's right, because you said it got bigger. Yeah, it continues to grow. It's the same Kong. And they made a, a connection to that. They said he's still young, he's still growing yeah. in this movie. So that's pretty interesting. So keep that in mind that he's still growing. He's getting bigger and bigger. Keep that in mind for when you watch Godzilla vs. Kong. Yes, yes. Okay, 
So, favorite lines from the movies? Oh, Wait, favorite, favorite yeah. line. Okay. Uh, my favorite line from Kong Skull Island. Yes. Uh, I think it's probably uh, the John C. Riley talking about how he, he named the skull crawler. Yes, yes. Go ahead. Yeah, that, I love it. Go ahead. See how much you can do it. Oh, so forward, I'll do that. I'll do that whole thing of going like, um, oh, so there's there's beasts under the ground. What what are those called? Uh, well, the E we won't speak their name, but I call them skull crawlers. <gasps> really? <laughs> I just I may, may made it up. <laughs> I haven't said it I, until now. I, yeah. I think John C. Riley makes this movie because mm -hmm. earlier there's another part where he says something to the effect of, I don't know anymore if I'm talking out loud or just to myself. Yeah. And he goes, yeah. can you hear me? Am I talking out loud? Because he's been living on this island for many, many years with a group of natives that don't speak. So he never, he completely forgot that he's talking. Right. Okay. Those are my favorite. All right. So the original. The original, and I'll tell you, the original Kong, my favorite movie is at the end when he goes, "'Twas beauty killed the beast." How dare you? Okay, like, how dare it's the you classic, take the one line. It's the classic line because what I love so much about that line is this, that I don't know of anyone who speaks that way. Throughout the whole movie... He you know, doesn't speak that right, way. Right, exactly. Yeah. Through the whole movie, he's got this this New York uh, ah. kind of accent. Ah, the, the, you know, all this. Oh. And then all, all at the end, "'Twas beauty that killed the beast." <laughs> So it was just suddenly he changed character to deliver that line at the end of the movie. Mm -hmm. That was the best line. Yeah, that was the best line. Yeah, but I, I already knew this. You have to come up with your own. Uh, my favorite line is, <laughs> uh, do you think it was the planes that killed him? <laughs> Twas beauty that killed the beast. <laughs> All right. Wow, Fantastic. there you go. Fantastic. All right, I have, a, I have a, a, a couple queries for you. Go ahead. Did you know there are actually, in fact, a couple uh, Kong movies in the works? Uh, really? Yeah. They're All actually right. uh, basing some of these well, Kong movies. Since he's still alive and he's still young, they might as well, you know, he's still got a career. Yeah, he. they're actually, they, they decided to ditch the classic, like, monster beat monster route. Okay. They're actually basing them on older movies. Okay, that he's not fighting monsters? No. In fact, he will be taking the role in more straightforward movies. They're actually remaking older movies. Like, he, it, it's going to do um, Gone with the Wind starring King Kong? Is Maybe that what you, mean? you might consider, you might call it Kong with the Wind. Oh, really? I will, I would li I will be feeding you uh, some summaries. Okay. For upcoming Kong releases. Nice, and nice. You have, to, you have to guess what the title of this okay. release might be. Excellent. I so, love these surprises. Go ahead. <laughs> so, for example, um, James Kahn is yes. the quarterback of a new football <laughs> team with a giant gorilla <laughs> as its uh, right end. Tight end? Tight end. Oh, tight end. Tight end. Yeah. Okay. Yes. What might this <laughs> this film be called? Um, gosh. And James Kahn. I was thinking we were going to go with James Kahn or something like that. Yeah. Um, uh, gorilla... In Soldier's Field. Uh, think about it's, it. Think I'm about thinking it. about think it. About the, James Caan, and he's James on a Con football team. Oh, um, James Caan was in that movie, uh, Deliverance. It he, was not Deliverance. <laughs> <laughs> it was the movie St uh, Stacy's Choice. Uh, it was you, you no, the football. There's a possessive. There is yes, a possessive. Yes, exactly. Yeah, it's, it's, what's the name of the movie? It's Brian's Song. What's it called? Brian's Kong. Brian's Kong. Kong. There, you, there go. you go. Look at that. I got it. All right. All right. That's give me your, another that's one. Your first one. There, give me another one. Second one. <laughs> this was the first one I came up with. All right. So this is nice. a doozy. This is good. Um, now, I, now I got it. Now I got it. King Kong, King Kong. or perhaps Queen Kong, ah. uh, goes on a road trip. Queen Kong of the Desert. No. No. Sorry. But you're not super far off. Goes on a road trip yes. with Patrick Swayze and John Leguizamo. Also, That's the as movie I was trying to think of, uh, I don't remember the name of that song. <laughs> so, wait, For also is drag queen. Autograph picture. Like, it's the other I, drag right, queen. Right, movie. right, yeah. right. Yeah. So it's um, it's yeah. I can't remember the name. Of that. Uh, the Give movie. me a hint. <sighs> Give me a rhyming word for each word in the title. <laughs> Something paradise of the. Oh desert. my God! Do wrong clue. <laughs> Uh, Wrong banks, thing. poor, <laughs> severy thing. Uh, yeah, something unruly, 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 unruly,
Yeah, I don't know. Go ahead, tell me. Uh, this movie is called Two Kong Fu. Thanks Two for Kong everything, Fu. Julie Newmar. Yes, I was never going to remember that title. Yeah, starring Patrick Swayze, Wesley Snipes, and, and John Leguizamo. And, and, King, and Kong. King Kong. Yeah, and King sorry, Kong, yeah. Sorry, sorry. King Kong's the other character. And he playing, right? plays himself. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Any other ones? Uh, have, I have one last one. three. Actually. Yes, let's yeah. hear three. Yeah, this yes. is the last one. This is to tie it up because you're tied now. I'm tied. You, you one, did one, one. You got one. You didn't get the other yes. one. Yes. I got close to the second one. You didn't. You, <laughs> really? you just I, said I, the I, other I, drag queen. I know. Movie. Yeah, but it's, so, so it's one and a half points. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> sure. This is to tie it up. This is for right. everything. This is it. I'm ready. Surprisingly, yeah. Elliot Gould is not the hairiest guy in this movie ah! as he attempts to solve a murder mystery playing a character, Bogey. Once played. Wow, and it's Elliot Gould is playing this. And, um, uh, Kong Sablanca? Ooh. <laughs> the, wait, wait, wait. The M Maltese Kong. The Maltese Gorilla. Mm. The I will say, this isn't, this wasn't a Humphrey Bogart remake, but it was a an, ad an adaptation of a novel <laughs> a novel that might have been made into a movie. No, that but would have been. <laughs> it was a novel in a series of novels. Uh, it was the Philip Marlowe novels. Yes, and then Humphrey Bogart played Philip Marlowe in uh, The Big Sleep. But this is Elliot Gould playing that character. Right. Do you know um, the name of this movie? Uh, we'll go with uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Monkey. It is The Kong Goodbye. Yes, the Kong goodbye. All right, all tied up. Excellent. <laughs> you got 1.5 out of 3, which I guess does mean you're tied up there somehow. You fantastic, fantastic. In a miraculous situation. Um, all right. Um, anything else you want to add to this before we close up for the day? And how about introduce, what's the next movies we're going to watch? Well, I, I would love to introduce the next movies. Please, go ahead. Um for our next installment, we will be looking at Daniel Craig's final turn as James Bond in or No Time it, to Die. Is it really his final? Yes. Okay. I'm just saying, you I, know, Hollywood has a way of playing with us, so he may come back. I've received confirmation. All right. Okay. Daniel Craig will, in fact, be only only doing Knives Out movies for for the rest of his life. Really? <laughs> yes. He's just gonna do. He's gonna do 15 years of yeah. Knives Out. Knives Out. Knives In. Knives Around the Corner. Nice. Yeah. Okay. The Maltese knife. The Maltese knife. Yes. Okay. Uh, two knife. Fifteen foo, thanks years. For fifteen years. I said fifteen years because that's how long Daniel Craig has been Bond. Yeah, it's that's been right. Fifteen yeah. years. That so there you go. Yeah, that's so, it. See, yeah. I, I did a little homework. All right, you did a little so homework on the next, movies we were not exactly. viewing this week. <laughs> so next time we're together on Sons of Cinema, we will be reviewing Daniel Craig's newest Bond movie and comparing them to some of his older ones, and maybe comparing them to Bond in general. Indeed. Da -na -na -na. <laughs> That was that was the uh, Kong thing. Look, look, <laughs> look, wait! I'm James Bond. <laughs> nice. But there's a gun barrel. I think he brushed his there's hair. A, no. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>